Welcome to the lesson, Perimeters of Composite Figures. Let's go over some vocabulary. A composite figure is a figure made up of two or more two-dimensional figures. The two-dimensional figures could be triangles, squares, rectangles, circles, semicircles, etc. Here's an example of a composite figure. So a house is composed of this triangle and a rectangle. We also have this window. It's comprised of a semicircle and a rectangle. You can consider those two rectangles or one large rectangle. To find the perimeter of a composite figure, you're going to find the total distance around the figure. So today we're going to practice picking a starting point and we're going to travel around the figure calculating the perimeter. We are not going to calculate any inside measurements. It's just the exterior distance around the object. So for here, I might pick this. We have half the circumference, and then we'll have three sides. Let's go ahead and do some practice. So we're gonna find the perimeter of this composite figure. It is comprised of two semicircles and a rectangle. Reminding you that these two semicircles have a diameter of six inches. And when I put this semicircle with this semicircle, I have one complete circle. So let's make a plan. I'm going to find the circumference of one full circle because these two semicircles make one circle, one half plus another half, and then I have two sides to close it up. So half of a semicircle, one side, half of a semicircle, and another side. So a full circle and two sides. To find the circumference, we're going to do pi times the diameter, add the side, and add the second side. So to find pi, we replace it with 3.14. The diameter of the circle is 6, and each side is 15. Even though this side is not labeled, it's parallel to this side, so these are equal. Multiply 3.14 times 6, and then 15 plus 15 is 30, and we get that the perimeter all the way around this composite figure is 48.84 inches. I'd like you to pause the video, find the perimeter of this composite figure, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's make a plan. We have a semicircle and a triangle making up our composite figure. So we only have half of the circle in this composite figure, so we're going to find half of the circumference. And we need to add the two sides. So if I start right here at this point, I'm going to do half the circumference, one side, two sides. Now that we have our plan, we know the diameter of the circle, so I'm going to use the formula pi times diameter. And remember, we only need half because we have a semicircle. And then we're going to add side plus side. Remember, you do not add the interior measurements in any of these composite figures if you're finding the perimeter. So one half, replace pi with 3.14. The diameter of the semicircle is 5, and the two additional sides are 3 and 4. Multiply half times 3.14 times 5, and you'll get 7.85. Add 3 plus 4, you get 7. For a final answer of 14.85 inches. Here's another one for you to try. You have two semicircles here and a square. I know it's a square because these sides are congruent. So that means these sides are also 10 centimeters. Go ahead and hit pause. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we have two semicircles, one semicircle, a second semicircle, making a full circle, and a square. So we're going to find the circumference of one circle because if I put this half of a circumference with this half, it gives me one full circumference. And then I have these two sides. So circumference, one side, two side. So circumference is pi times the diameter. The diameter of these circles are 10, and we have two sides. So the diameter of 10, pi is 3.14, plus each side of 10. Multiply, you get 31.4, add, and you get 20. 
for a total circumference of 51.4 centimeters. Thank you for joining me today.